Hi, this is Hannah with ID8 TV, and I am here at the annual CFA Cat Show, where for over 50 years, cats have been coming here to show off their stuff. Let's enter the cat's den. I know a lot of people here, some of them it is their first show. So what is like some of the things that you like, the process of judging, can you like kind of walk us through? Well, basically, each breed is represented if they're entered. We evaluate them based on the written standard. The better quality representatives of the respective breeds are placed in our final and recognized as such. So I just had a premiership final, which is an altered championship final. These are, these are cats that have a, have a written standard for them, except they, do, they can't reproduce. So that's a, a class, a competitive class that we have. We also have championship kittens and household pets. Mm -hmm. And household pets are just cats that haven't been declawed mm -hmm. and we require them to be altered, mm -hmm. you know, neutered and spayed. But, you know, it's, it's an interesting situation with household pets. It's whatever you like <laughs> and uh, as, as a judge. Mm -hmm. and, but, but the other ones have written standards that we have to apply. Mm -hmm. And there's disqualification points and the better cats win. And each judge here, it's a show unto itself. We don't collaborate or anything we yeah. based on our experience in the fancy and our evaluation process we place them rank them and present a final at the end of each competitive category so like, what do y'all do to prepare for like this type of event get mentally ready and she primps the cat <laughs> <laughs> so you're just the support you're That's the right. fan right That's you know right. the hype man for her to go off stage right the driver he's the driver <laughs> right right like the pageant dad. She has lots of baths. It takes a lot of bat bathing and combing for weeks before you go to a show. Oh wow, do y'all travel a lot for this type of thing? Not a whole lot. We come to Southern California. We live in Phoenix, Arizona, and we come to Southern California too, so. What kind of um, like things do you go through to prepare for like such an event like this? Oh, gee, like la yesterday, uh, just to bathe the kitty and get it ready for the show, it takes about two hours. The bath and then the blow dry. It's it's, it's quite an ordeal. That's longer than I take to get ready. <laughs> and then you have to pack all your equipment. I mean, it's an all-day thing almost. What made you decide to like do this and get into it? Um, a friend of mine has show cats, and she said it was a lot of fun. What have you done to prepare? Like, does she tell you like the tips and the tricks? A little bit about grooming and what to bring to the show, that kind of equipment, things like that. big cat people you know what we're we're big animal people my sister she did dog shows uh, and breeding for a very long time and so that's how we even got started coming to all the different shows so she goes to rabbit shows and all kind of things so this is the first time with us bringing my son and my nephew and this is my other nephew actually so now we're just trying to get the other generation involved with it too do you love cats yes yeah are they your favorite animal yeah yeah Reagan Aurora with your, you here today. Is she the only one that you have currently? She is our only girl at home. She our, she's our only cat at home. She rules the roost. <laughs> so you have the Aurora pin. That's what, how even I, whenever I said Reagan Aurora, I was like, is that because of Sleeping Beauty? <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, yes. And so she's basically our princess. So it's not easy being a princess, but. No, it's you know. not. It's and this is Emily Rose's first show? Yes, her first show. Has she already gone up or anything? She's been to one ring, and mm -hmm. she got uh, best cat and best breed, best color. Ooh, either beginner's luck or just a natural pro already. Is this y'all's first time ever coming to this show? Yes. Yes? Yes. Would y'all ever plan on, like, entering your own cats into like, a show like this? Um, probably not, <laughs> but, but I guess I have to see what the show is first. <laughs> you bring all the cats here every year for this show? Yeah, absolutely, yes. This is one of our favorite events because we get excellent adopters here. So we always make this show, yeah. Really, that's yeah. your favorite part of it? Yes, absolutely. Because I know I can count on the public to come in and that they'll be good people and they'll give good homes to our cats. So mm -hmm. it's a wonderful show for that purpose. <laughs> So 
now here with Janice and her cat Summer. How are you today? I'm doing great. And uh, yeah, Summer's actually just here as a pet meat cat. She's not competing. And um, yeah, so she's just here for people to pet. Um, to pet. And it's her own blog at sparklecat.com. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so anyway, she blogs pretty much every day. She'll be blogging about the show probably on Monday or Tuesday. Does she just blog about different events or her daily life? Both. Yeah, I mean, she goes out on a leash, she travels with me, she flies with me, so um, she usually has something pretty interesting to say every day. And she also, yeah, it's just and, and, and about like a sort of cat life from a, from a cat's point of view. Is she kind of famous among all the cats here? Yeah, um, yeah, she's she's kind of famous, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's kind of very popular. And one thing actually Summer does that's um, really, I'm very proud of her for is she's a therapy cat. And I take her to hospitals. Yeah, um, because yeah, I, I basically wanted her because she had such a good temperament, and I wanted to train her to be a therapy cat because I thought you hear about therapy dogs all the time. Yeah, and um, I'm a cat person, and you know, if I was in a hospital and somebody was bringing a therapy cat around, I would be so thrilled. I would love it. So I was just like, well, pay it forward. <laughs>